In this lesson, we're going to apply multiple circle theorems to solve these problems. For question A, we have the angle at the center is 180 degrees. So the angle at the circumference would be 90 degrees. We can now work out the angle in red using this right angle triangle. Because the, the angle in red will be 180 degrees minus 90 minus 26 degrees, which is 64 degrees. And because the angle A is isosceles with equal radii, angle A is also 64 degrees. Angle B lies along a straight line with the 64 degrees, so that will be the difference between 180 and 64 which is 116 degrees. For question B, we have equal radii. And because we have equal radii, this is an isosceles triangle, which means this angle must be also 12 degrees. So angle C would be 180 degrees minus 24, two lots of 12, which is 156 degrees. And again, we've got an angle at the centre and circumference. So the angle at the circumference must be 156 divided by 2, which is 78 degrees. And now we've got a cyclic quadrilateral. In the red path, so angle D would be 180 degrees minus the 78 because up is the angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180. So D would be 102 degrees. Thank you for watching. I do hope you found it useful. And check out the link in the description for the full lesson.